Let's add noun and verb icons. Good morning, all my friends and family. So uh, today, we are going to learn how to add icons to a page. So as we go through and you guys have been practicing and thinking about maybe applying it to your child's life at home, you probably thought to yourself, hey, I wish this was in here. So that's what we're gonna work on today, all right? Uh, we will do it for both nouns and for verbs. So in the meantime, uh, or while you're doing this and afterwards, think about some nouns, like foods are usually highly preferred nouns, and as well as some actions, some verbs that we can add that your family does. So without further ado, let's go. Make sure you have your iPads ready and your kid around. Now, now, just so you know, several of the students um, who use iPads know how to do this. Um, they've shown an aptitude on how to edit and use the um, software, so they will actually add icons during lessons if we don't have them. Kind of cool. Here we go. All right, the first thing we're going to add is a noun. We're going to pick a food since they're usually highly preferred items. So we're going to go to food and we'll just go on this front page here um, so that uh, they don't have to work so hard to find it. In order to add an icon, you're going to hit this pencil down here. That takes you to the page edit. On here, you'll notice this white box with a plus sign and a file folder with a plus sign. The plus sign adds an icon. The file with a plus sign adds a whole new page. We're not going to worry about that today, just the plus. So let's say my child really loves burritos and we weren't able to find it on here. We go to this edit and we push plus. That's gonna allow us to add a new button. So I'm gonna put in burrito, B-U-R-R-I-T-O. And as you see, there's already a picture available for it right there. If you didn't like that picture, you could hit edit and you could choose symbol and then you can search for it, burrito. Let's see if there's more, yep, there we go, burrito or burritos. We're just gonna go ahead and keep burrito. And now you have it, that's it. Just push plus, type in what you want, find the picture, and that's it. When you're completely done, you push done. And now you have it, let's hear it. Burrito. Burrito, let's do one more. Let's say your kid loves lasagna. Here we go. We're going to push the pencil. It takes us to the edit page. We're going to push plus since we just want an icon. Now we're going to type in lasagna. L-A-S-A-G-N-A. -A -A. It already has a picture in there. We like that. Yeah. Yep, that's the one they have. It's already yellow. A yellow icon means it's a noun. We're done here, so we're going to push done. And now we're back. Let's see what happens when we touch it. Lasagna. There you go. Choose lasagna. It says lasagna. Okay, let's add an action or a verb. We're going to go ahead and put that in the folder um, with the other verbs that we've been working on. So let's go to actions, more, body, and then we'll go more to the last page. Now let's say your child loves cooking and you'd love them to be able to talk about that. Let's go to the edit page by touching the pencil. Then we're going to push the plus because we just want an icon. Then we're going to put in cook. Let's reduce this or minimize that so we can look and see if we want any of these other pictures. Now, if your child is a daughter, you could choose the one with the more female hair. It helps with pronouns. Either way, let's do this. Now, it shows up yellow. Yellow means it's a noun. We do not want it to be a noun because we want to be able to make it uh, have the I and G at the end are conjugated. So we're going to slide over here down to word kind. We're going to hit that and go to the very bottom. We're going to make that a verb. And if you notice, that went from yellow to pink. That's important. All verbs are pink. So we're done here. We're going to push done. And this is why it's important that it's put in as a verb. When you hold it down, it allows you to conjugate it. So you can say, I like cooking, or they are cooking, or we are cooking. Touch that. Cooking. Put it in. Cooking. Cooking. There we go. Now watch what happens if you just hit it without conjugating it. 
cook. There you go. All right. So that's it. That's how you add an action. So that's that. That is how you add an icon. Please uh, add a few over the week if you can. It'd be awesome if you would let me know what you added. Um, and then, of course, use the sentences that we've already worked on to go back and find those words and have your child uh, use them in their activities of daily living. Um, okay, so that's it, and I hope you have a great week and a great weekend, and I look forward to hearing back from all of you. Adios. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.